Pat Olson from Benedetti Diamond, along with USF Don's interim head coach, uh, Matt Keplinger. Nice win for USF today, 9-0 over the Broncos. Uh, coach, we talked about it in our post-game interview yesterday, even though you lost yesterday 8-3. to You guys came back with some momentum in the ninth inning, put a lot of good at-bats up, and that kind of carried over from your dugout to today right out of the gate. Three runs uh, in the first inning, you go on to a 9 nothing victory. Your thoughts? Yeah, the momentum definitely carried over. You could just feel it in the pregame today. The guys were relaxed. They were loose. Um, obviously, getting a zero in the first inning was huge, right? We hadn't done that in either of the two games of this series. So, you know, it was an a, a interesting start to the game. Uh, Jesse made a nice play defensively, and then he really settled into the game. And then, obviously, Gabe's big blast. I think everybody took a big breath of fresh air after that. Yeah, let's uh, go back to Jesse Barron because in that first inning, he gave up three hits, boom, 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 and you're thinking, here we go again, right? The yeah. Broncos are going to score again the first inning. But he was fooling them. Those three hits were all kind of dinks. They weren't solidly hit. And he worked out of the jam, and he was solid. He now has thrown 11 consecutive scoreless innings for your club. Yeah, I can't say enough great things about Jesse. Uh, I mean, the consistency that he's providing for the club, especially on a Sunday. That's a place that we've struggled over the last two years, really. So um, he brings great energy, consistency, and the slider today, was doing exactly what we needed it to do and uh, man he, he really emptied his tank for us today. Yeah that was a heck of a swing by Gioso that was one of those classic like you know high long balls you know they call it a big fly right that was a big fly home run it was not the short you know line drive down close to the ground that thing was out of here that was a bomb. Yeah they call that the old no doubter there. Yeah and it was fun to watch, huh? Oh, absolutely. The guys had fun today. The energy was great. All nine innings. Uh, fun to see Molaris come in and slam the door shut like that. And, and Oscar threw the ball really well in between there. So really team effort, one through nine. And everybody that towed the rubber did their job today. And the nice thing about your team is today, even though you got the early lead, you kept coming at him. You added on and you took advantage when you had guys on the base pass. Absolutely. I mean, Darius ran the bases great. Luke ran the bases great. Um, I thought Kyle Nell had a really good game today. Again, one through nine, everybody contributed in some fashion. And, and really nice to see the guys off the bench being aggressive and putting balls in play as well. Preview your next ball game. You uh, have Nevada, the Wolfpack, here at home on Tuesday. Yeah, again, it's going to be an opportunity to get some guys in the game that maybe didn't get as many at-bats this weekend. And looking forward to see some other guys like Sam Beck and Caleb Boltz get an opportunity to pitch. Coach, congratulations on the win. Nice one here today. All right, thank you. Along with uh, USF Dons interim head coach uh, Matt Keplinger, I'm Pat Olson. The Dons beat the Broncos 9-0 here today on the Hilltop.